Do you suffer from heartburn or can't sleep at night? Guess what? I'm going to help you out. This is what I was talking about. Ryan, hit it. That is the custom king size bed, which as you can see right over here, 66 by 78. It's got angled corners on the end that also is a Versa tilt incliner. You don't get this unless you're in a lot of luxury, high-end class A model motorhomes. So the fact that Forest River and the Wildwood team put this in here, fantastic. On a coach that is 31 feet, nine inches, 5,800 pounds dry with versatility, I think you're really gonna love this one. Now, here in the rest of the master suite, you're also gonna see oversized mirrored ward storage. What I like about this is they went pretty much from nightstand all the way up to the ceiling. They also have the decorative headboard in there in the front cap. And looky, looky at what we got under this one here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pre-lift this so I can show you here in a minute. You have a laundry chute down there, which is also accessible from the pass-through storage. Dual USB charging. And look at what is under my king size bed. You got strut supported storage that is accessible through the pass through, but because Forest River and the Wildwood team love organization, I'll talk more about that in the kitchen. Look at the collapsible tubs that you have right here under the bed. You even have some shoe storage underneath. <laughs> the 263 BHXL is loaded. You don't get just regular pull down shades, you get cloth curtains that velcro together for your privacy on oversized 48 inch windows here in the master with cross breeze i absolutely love that then since it is a tilt of view you're also going to have your tv backer right here with your cable and your power connection now let's go check out the living area because you got some beautiful stuff there too for 31 feet 9 inches 5800 pounds dry and can sleep two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine plus, because this is a bunk model. Ryan, take a quick spin. Look at this. The Wildwoods, and this is the Platinum package. So this is the 263 BHXL. I got to tell you, I love that this is a standard, it's the traditional bunk model floor plan, that family bunkhouse floor plan with a Wildwood touch to it. Right here is going to be your entertainment center with your TV backer, your connection port, and your oversized Furion sound bar, plus a reflective front fireplace. Almost 5,000 BTUs of heat right there with multi-flame settings, multi-light settings. This beauty will kick out the heat to knock the chill off the air in this room. And the way that they design the Wildwoods, now this one is the Platinum, so you're going to have the fiberglass exterior on this one. Uh, you're going to be able to go camping season, extend it maybe a little bit, depending on where you are. I also like how they gave me the shaker style cabinets with storage on both sides of my entertainment center, but more importantly, more shoe space underneath that's lit. And I love how it's under the fireplace because if you come in from outside and it's chilly, your shoes are wet or whatever, you can cut on the fireplace, knock them under there and dry. More importantly, your shoes are out of the way, especially being a bunkhouse. You know how kids are with their feet. Now, before I get to the kitchen, let me show you some versatility. Over on the off-camp side, surrounded by huge panoramic windows with the shades that give you the, it's, it's the pull-down shades, upgraded feature in a coach that really doesn't have upgraded price, you have the Versa Lounge. And really what makes it versatile are two things. This right here, these two cushions, and this piece right here. Now. It, you do have to pay attention to where the grooves are, but the way I have it set up now in a U-shaped dinette, you can take this padded cushion off, put this one back here with the rest of them, and look, you got yourself a regular U-shaped dinette. Reduces down, can sleep two adults. Take this off, move this out. Oh my goodness, what is Chris doing? What do we have here? Slide this into place there. Put this piece here. This piece here. Because they Velcro in, you've given yourself a chaise lounge. This comes out as a jackknife sofa. 
you got a sleeping space. Remove those pillows, remove that backer, put that down. You have two large sleeping spaces like you see in this picture here that can probably fit two adults easily, two, four, or if the kids are having a sleepover, there you go. Now, if you do have the kids coming, storage is going to be an issue. So Wildwood thought of that too. How about over a collective 20 feet of storage space thanks to all of these storage bins that are under not only the jackknife sofa, under both sides of the dinette, and I got large panoramic windows with the actual shades, not the little pleated pull downs, wood valances, mushroom lights. It's beautiful, it's light gray. The only thing I'm not a fan of is this right here because I hit myself on it a couple times. So just be looking for that. The reason that's there is because you have all of this here. You need the support for it, but we're still under 5,800 pounds. Moving on to the campsite kitchen. How about the concrete hex backsplash? I like how that's there. I got a 48 inch window that opens up giving me cross breeze. I got pressed surface countertop with an undermounted sink, high rise faucet and sprayer, flush mounted three burner cooktop with the 16 inch oven. Loving that. Furion hood, Furion microwave, frosted glass in my cabinets. And I got me a 15K BTU AC with quick cool dumps that's also ducted. And for my fridge freezer combo, check out the acrylic front Furion 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt Bute. Everything in this 263 BHXL just screams nice. It's nice space. It's nice versatility. It's nice living. It's nice style. Nice pantry size. Nice bathroom with access point. Not only that, with the herringbone pattern shower that we have here, the shower door is on a curve. So you actually get more room when it's closed as opposed to the door now closing here, it closes out here. Just thinking about your camping enjoyment, plus that's antimicrobial coating on the shower curtain. Skylight inlay, shower controls, notches. I got plenty of headroom thanks to the skylight venting fan. Access point, high rise bowl. If the kids are coming in, they're gonna be dirty. You can clean them up without tracking that dirt into the rest of the coach. And then I even have a decorative medicine cabinet with my vanity sink right there, GFCI outlet, and storage. Chris, you said it was a bunkhouse. I did. Metal ladder. Much sturdier than the wood ones that are there. I like that. Once again, thinking about your safety. Large window, double over double bunks, storage space underneath, plus dual USB charging on both the top and the bottom bunk. Last but not least, before we head outside, Ryan, come here and take a look at this. 60,000 BTU tankless water heater over here. This is where you come, run out your awning, run out your slides. You also have a 200 watt solar panel uh, that, that may come on this, but you do have the 30 amp char solar charge controller that is built on board. Having that means you can extend not only the life of the battery, but a little bit of the camping season as well. Or if you wanna go off grid, you got that opportunity. Nice, light, beautiful. Even the flooring, which is that upgraded Congolium, is decorative and unlike what you're gonna see in most RVs. All right, let's go outside, come on. So I wanted to test that uh, 60,000 BTU tankless hot water heater, decided to take a shower in there. I 100% did not get caught in a rainstorm and nail my head on the awning. So what do you say we take a look at the outside of the all new Forest River Wildwood X Lite 263 BHXL X. Now, um, as you can see, it is a little damp. Maybe I did get caught in a rain shower, but we're going to start actually up front. So you got powered tongue jack 
powder coated frame on this one and an enclosed underbelly down there too. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, battery box and battery disconnect located on the outside. Easy to get to, makes camping a little bit easier. You know, just when you're able to cut the battery off and on, just helps out. Plus, you're not draining the battery when you're not actually out. Diamond plated rock guard on the bottom. You got that super flex roof on the top. Come over to this awesome coated fiberglass exterior. Now down there, are going to be the quick jacks. I like these because yes, they, they are manual, but they literally just, well, they, they do what their name says. They, they quick drop, they're quick drop jacks. So stabilizer jacks is you don't have to hand crank a lot, just boom, boom, boom. The thing I like about what they did with their storage doors is they put a dry erase surface on the luggage door. Here, you know what I'm gonna do for you? I'm gonna do this. Just so you can see it, not wet. It's a dry erase surface. So if you have a dry pen, a dry erase pen, like this one here, and this is gonna be wet, so I don't know if it's gonna work. Hi, you can leave notes on there, or more importantly, if you got bags of stuff, or even those tubs, those clear plastic tubs that maybe you didn't mark, you can put on there, you know, like dirty laundry, shirt, shoes, because you know, we had, we had that hamper right there, uh, which is accessible from the pass-through right here, you know, maybe put dirty, clean, whatever, leave notes, just makes it a little bit, it's those little things that make camping a little bit easier. Coming on down the line, you can see we got the oversized awning with the LED light strips, solid step over steps leading me into the main entryway here with the oversized grab handle. And since it is a bunkhouse, 31 feet, you're looking at 5,800 pounds dry, you gotta have the outside kitchen. So why not give you the outside griddle and the mini Everchill fridge. Love the fact that they've gone from doing the two burner to the griddle because it opens up breakfast as well. Do the bacon, the eggs, oh man, just makes life so much easier. And if you wanna set up some outside entertainment, you got a GFCI outlet, cable connection, fresh water fill, sprayer port if you need to spray anything off or give the kids or the dogs a bath. And I like how we got the extra wide berth there on our double axles, Dexter Easy Lube, uh, LP Quick Connect over there in front of my axles, and those rims being black and steel look good on this coach. Steps leading into the bathroom here, low point drain, as well as my rear stab jacks. Once again, the quick drops. Four by four sewer hose storage, spare tire mounted on the back, black tank flush and city water connection. We are set up for backup camera prep and the arched ceilings there with the rain nozzles will help keep the rain, which we definitely did not get off this coach and off the slides. Right there is the back of that tankless 60,000 BTU water heater and external shower. And under the external shower is going to be our main terminations where you got a 38 gallon fresh, 60 gallon gray and 30 gallon black. 30 amp connector right there, slide right here, power cords right there, cardboard box right here. Look at this. Just, ooh, this is one of my, oh, I love this stuff. Do you ever play with the poppies? Okay, I'm sorry, Ryan. I'll leave that there. Other side of my pass-through storage that you'll see right here. I like how it's finished off and that right, right there, you can see the frame, the studding for where that bed is with the strut support. Man, that tilt of you bed is just awesome. And of course, your info panel. Always check that to see the gross vehicle weight on this one as well as the dry weight. I mean, the dry weight on this one, 5,800 pounds. 31 feet, nine inches. That's actually what the X means. Whenever you see the BHXL X, it just means it's extra long. To be able to sleep seven or more, gosh, two, four, six, eight, ten, probably 10, when you do those, that Versa Lounge and the double over double bunks, if you've been looking for versatility, style, and you feel like you're royalty, which you are, then this one right here, should be the RV that you put at the top of your list. Feel like you're paying entry level price, but you are getting luxury with the Forest River Wildwood X Lite 263 BHXL. Man alive. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what'd you like. Do you like the curtains? Do you like those? Do you like the tilt of view bed? Is it too much? What about the Versa Lounge? And also, what would you do with it? Where would you take the 263 BHXL? And please click like, subscribe, and notify too. So next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young. Thank you for joining me for this one. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Hopefully seeing you soon too. Take care.